Hey guys, it's Kiara from the One Verse Cichlids. This past weekend, my dad got ship in a fish from Germany, and he's gonna take you on a tour of the fish. Like and subscribe and enjoy. And that was a mighty intro by Kiara. Gonna start here, guys, with the Olenakara Stuart Grant I Chulumba. Some beautiful detail in the fins and these guys. Sometimes it's hard to see in the videos, man, but these guys are just stunning. Here we've got some Olenakara Eureka Reds. Being nice together for now. So I do have males left, these uh, females ended up being pre-sold. And those my friends are the Eurekas. Down here I had to share these guys. Young group of uh, Placidochromus, Electra, Superior, Mandaloi. Some beautiful yellow, Olanacara, Benchai Benga. Some nice males in here. Some really dominant showing color. It's like you take one out, the next guy pops up. And that's Olanacara, Benchai Benga. So um, here I have Libidochromus, Hungai Sunflower, it's another hybrid Mavuna. And these guys, unfortunately I only have males available. Not do I like to get in my fish, I like to have plenty females, especially with Mavuna, but these guys, unfortunately, I only have males. So they're, they're, they're nice, they're very fiery looking. So anyone that knows me knows I've been importing from Germany for years, you know now. And so coming up I'm going to start changing it up a bit. I'm actually going to start bringing in more Tanganyikans. Um, so basically um, I want to change up, start bringing in some different Malloy as well from different sources, change up the, you know, what I have in stock every few, um, every month or so, you know, besides bringing in the same fish. Here we've got some spilling all the Tanzanians just in. And some nice Nimbochromus Venustus with nice yellow sulfur heads. So anyone that knows me long enough knows that when I first started importing I used to import a lot of Tanganyikans. So I'm going to go back bringing in some different unique species, start getting into more wild caught fish. We are working on the website, we had to redo the whole website over, over the last couple of months. And if the list isn't up there, email me, I'll put my email in the bio. And uh, we're working on that as fast as we can. But anyway guys, I probably won't be bringing in as many shipments in from Germany as I did in the past. But I'll still be bringing them in, just um, to be doing a lot of other stuff as well, you know. Some beautiful Molana by color here. Some nice white bands in some of these. And here we've got some beautiful firefish. So the females have been pre-sold. 
Jared Hicks, GG from GG Cichlids, has a breeding group coming his way. So watch out for GG, he's breeding some nice fish. And these guys, as well as many other breeding groups, he's bought from us over the years. So these guys are doing good, very nice. And here we've got some Odafarnix sulfur heads, Vida Bay sulfur heads. Well, we've got males available, unfortunately all the females have been, have been pre-sold. And here we've got some beautiful gold harbor males showing nice nice gold in those heads very happy with them now take in mind guys this fish the shipping came in late saturday evening and was early sunday morning before many of them got put in, in their tanks it's now holiday monday here in massachusetts and the rest of the united states so these guys are doing well considering they've just arrived you know So these are the Gold Harbor, Monkey Bay. And we've got some beautiful young Giselle in, Pacitochromis, Phenochilus Giselle. Some nice young males showing some color already. I have females as well, females available for those of you that like to breed. So, Males lining up, starting to show a nice colour. And plenty females. And they're showing that nice Giselle Blackbeard. Show these guys here some red flush. I mean, they're a bit younger than I expect, you know, but there's still a couple of nice males there showing a real nice red breast and a nice red collar. Males are really striking. As they settle in, they'll colour up more, that's for sure. And check this out, Prasidochromus, species Jalo Reef. Unfortunately, I don't have that many males in these guys in this shipment, but absolutely striking. Some nice young males here. Stunning. Oh, forgot to clean the glass in this tank. Bad fish keeper. <laughs> One of your favourites in the hobby, the Placidochromus, Phenochilus, and the Doka White Lips. Some nice male and females here in this group. Starting to settle in nicely. And here we have Viola Nicara, Stuart Grantai, and Gara. Some beautiful flame tails in this batch. And I still have some females left for now, but the females in these sell quickly. Very nice fish. And I got these guys are outstanding. These are beautiful Taiwan reefs, man. A beautiful protomelis. These are young males, man. And they've just got beautiful ivory head, beautiful red anal fins. Just everything about them is nice, man. Even some of the females look so good, I thought they were subdominant males. It's a beautiful, beautiful strain. Small in size, big in stature, that's for sure. And that's just vibrant, you know. So those are our Taiwan reefs. Another smaller fish. 
we got in I thought they were going to be bigger but beautiful color some lemon jakes showing mighty color for their size so one of my personally favorite the Ulanakara Kaningzai Mabinjai I brought these in wild years ago, bred them, sent a lot of fry around the country because there was a lot of hybrids representing this fish once upon a time but thankfully a lot of that has been rectified but you might see uh, my group I sent to Sean, Sean James from Sean's Fish Room and um, these are the first batch I've had in from these in a long time just a beautiful beautiful on the camera and these are young males man look at the condition of these guys for young males is anybody looking to breed something unique these are definitely a must and here we've got the polar similis some nice green some nice color on these guys all the hit all the males are kind of pick around they're trying to Fight out between us, use the dominant meal. And those are the similars. So here's the hybrid I brought in last shipment uh, the Friar Eye Pink. Got some nice young males still available. These guys mature, I mean, they're only like half of what they're going to grow out to. So as they mature, they put on a lot more color. Absolutely stunning. So we don't have any more females left. All the females have been sold in this uh, group. But yeah, man, these, these guys are just fire. Beautiful. And here we have the Sinochromus orange fire, which is close to the other one I just showed you, the pink fire. But these guys as they mature so I got them in my last shipment and I did notice man after two or three weeks these guys were burning up and they were really really put on color so a few couple of weeks they are good here they start to put on the real real deep orange you know very nice And here we have some Olanacara turkeys, some another uh, nice German um, import. I mean, I got in one of the original uh, turkeys breeders years ago, and this is my second time getting them imp importing them myself actually. But um, they're settling in nicely, starting to put on good color. But in the quarantine, these guys will be uh, shining. And here we've got some albino firefish OBs, some cheetah looking fish here. We're hanging out in one corner so it's easy to video. Come on, move around. And here we've got some of the Sinochromus Snow White. I do have some meals left. The females have mostly been sold. And here we've got another Sinochromus hybrid type, it's an ivory yellow. These guys get nice yellow fins and as they mature, that ivory head, it kind of uh, ends up turning yellow, so they have the yellow sulfur head. Some of them are starting to show it, they're starting to get it, but it comes on slower from what I'm being told by the mad scientists, you know. 
but yeah, so you can see some of the sulfur heads in these guys, the ivory starting to turn yellow, but they do get those nice yellow anal fins. Well, I only have males left, uh, females have been gone in this, so if you want to try something different, we have a few males left. So, I do have some Accuriceps, some males available, showing nice color. I uh, have females as well, looking really good. Some nice good size Empress in there as well. The Empress traveled hard, big, big fish, they, you know, they had a rough ride of it, but they're settling in nicely. In another week, they'll be nice full red. Daily water changes, they'll try from it. But yeah, so, plenty gar here. And uh, a few nice, good-sized red empress, and some medium-sized red empress as well. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. That's the end of the the tour for now. I do have a lot of like smaller juveniles there that like are on color that are rare. If you're looking for some rare Copacabra species, check out the list. Um, I'll attach my email and stuff if you want to email me personally and ask me about the fish feel free to do so Thanks for the support and um, Let me know if you find anything interesting or if there's like something different you want to see in the next couple of months here on the channel uh, bringing in some different species and also I'll definitely have better content going forward as well you know a change from the you know the norm but guys thank you for your support I really appreciate it and take care out there all the best